What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can use ExpressVPN. So if you're new to VPNs in general and you're not familiar with how to use them, well, it's very simple. Once you download and install the VPN, by the way, make sure you use the link below if you end up getting Express to save a little bit more money. But basically, once you've downloaded and installed the VPN onto your device, whatever your device is, just download it and get it. And then log into the application after having gotten yourself a subscription. With your credentials, you can get into the application and basically here we are. So getting into the user interface, you're going to notice that it's basically similar or almost identical in every device, no matter what device you're using. And then you have your locations. So you've got the locations and you've got the on and off button here. You can basically select a location and it will basically disconnect and connect to the new location. I can just turn it off from here. Let's say I want to go back to locations and just select something here. Let's just go with the United States, for example, click Atlanta and then turn on the VPN and that's basically how you use ExpressVPN. Now as far as the options, you want to keep a few things in mind just so that you know what all this is about. So you've got the network lock which is also known as the kill switch and this is going to cut your internet connection in case the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. So essentially this is going to make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. And split tunneling is going to allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not and it's super easy to use. Just hit the plus sign. You can add another app from here and that is basically it as far as the protocols you just want to use the lightweight protocol it's the best protocol available you can put it on automatic but most of the time even i would say over 90 percent of the time whenever you select automatic it will automate back to lightweight udp so i just keep it on lightweight udp here you have your shortcuts which are set up and will pop up as soon as you turn on the vpn so just to give you an example they're right here they just show up and i can add one more here i'm gonna add up to five so let's just go back to options and here you have have your browser extensions if you would like to download it so it's available and it looks like this basically very similar and if we go to advanced there's nothing here besides sharing crash reports and that's basically it so now that you know how to use express all you need to do is well select the location that you're after and you should be good to go let's say you're trying to watch a specific streaming service uh, that is only available in japan i can just click on japan and now i'm connected to japan and if i go to what is my ip address it'll think that i'm also in japan so the internet is going to be interpreting as if I'm in Japan myself. Therefore, I have access to all of the Japanese content. And overall, ExpressVPN is one of the most reliable and consistent VPNs out there. As far as accessing streaming services, very reliably, you've got 94 countries and over 3,000 servers. So you can kind of watch content or access content from anywhere. It also fully supports peer-to-peer -peer and torrenting activities without any bandwidth limitations or throttling. You can also safely secure your device on public Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. ExpressVPN has arguably the best privacy policy in the business, I would say, and it's backed up with plenty of evidence, which is why I comfortably recommend it to friends and family. And while there are other VPNs that are able to access streaming services and support torrenting and whatnot, I choose ExpressVPN simply because of how quick it is when it comes to connecting and disconnecting. As you can tell, if I want to connect to Atlanta, it'll take less than a second. Many other VPNs will take five to like 30 seconds to connect to a server, but ExpressVPN, yeah, I love how snappy it is. Is, it just takes less than a second to connect and you're good to go. Not to mention that as far as security and privacy, it's got the strictest no locks policy for sure. And it's been demonstrated in both independent audit reports, so controlled environments and not so controlled environments like in 2017 when the Turkish government seized an Express VPN server as part of an investigation, but the government were still unable to extract any information from Express VPN servers thanks to Express VPN simply not storing any information in the first place. So yeah, wonderful stuff stuff as far as security. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Express, you'll find the full review down below and a discount if you'd like to save a little bit more money. Either way, there's a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason, but I doubt you won't be satisfied if you're getting Express VPN for streaming, torrenting, or just general privacy, you will be satisfied. You will definitely like Express VPN unless there's just a feature that it doesn't have. So comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day.